Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Forest. Horror films are a staple in the first weekend of January. Unfortunately, it has been kind of a horrific staple over the past several years. And The Forest follows suit. I was really looking forward to this film. The trailers, of course, looked really creepy. And by now, I should know, I shouldn't let myself get fooled. But horror filmmakers know how to cut a really creepy, awesome-looking trailer. And being a horror fan that I am, I always want to see the best in a genre that people love to hate on. Unfortunately, movies like The Forest give fuel to the haters and in turn highly disappoint me. So to start on a positive note, the film has a very creepy premise full of a ton of potential. It's about these woods in Japan where people go to commit suicide and they lay down a foundation of what transpired in these woods. A place where Japan as a society was poor, there wasn't enough food, so they would take the elderly, the weak, the sick, up into these woods to basically kill them. Just leave them out there and let them die. Wow, doesn't that sound like an awesome, gripping, horrific premise? Well, yeah, I thought so too. Until the film pretty much ditches all that to give us the same old horror tropes. It does nothing with that potential. It does nothing with that really creepy, haunting premise. And instead delivers jump scares, delivers predictable tropes that we've seen a million times before. If you've seen any horror movie over the past 10 years or so, you can call about 80% of the jump scares coming your way. The director does try to add some misdirect tension of sorts, but it all just fails. It leads to like letdowns and eye rolling more than it does building more tension and an unpredictability that I think the director wanted to do. And again, our main character just does so many stupid things throughout the film that you can't really root for her. You're just sitting there annoyed by the choices she makes over and over and over again. And the worst part is, they start her off as seeming like a really smart girl, somebody who can handle herself, and then she just falls into stupid mistake after stupid mistake. And in this case, our lead is played by Natalie Dormer from Game of Thrones. And while I think Natalie is a fine actress, she did nothing for me here. She had a very blank, vacant expression on her face for about 80% of the film. She does do the like really scared portions well, so she does the Scream Queen thing okay, but she's not able to convey any sort of emotion other than afraid. And thus, you're left not caring about her plight at all. And the script does her or no one else in this film any favors because it doesn't develop these characters, doesn't give you any sort of progression. So you don't care about them. You don't care really whether they live, die, get lost. It's all the same. The movie does do a semi good job at stringing along this one twist plot line. And it all comes to a head in the third act. But by that point, you're just so checked out by all the cliches that it doesn't even really matter. You're just ready to get on out of the theater. But hey, the woods were gorgeous. I don't think you would be completely mad if you caught this one for free when it comes on television. But even a rental price is pushing it here. At best, rental. But I think you can just skip this one. Unless you're the most diehard of horror fans. So, that has been my review of The Forest. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Forest? Have you seen it? If you have, what did you think? And what is your favorite January released horror flick? Let me know, either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!